You have just moved into your new home, but wait, how will you charge your electric car? You may be wondering whether you can bring your current home EV charger with you when moving house, or will you need to buy a brand new EV charger and get this installed at your property? Don't worry, we will take you through everything you need to know about home electric vehicle chargers and moving house. In short, yes, you can bring your EV charger with you when you move house, but just because you can, doesn't mean you should. You could be better off investing in a brand new EV charger instead of taking your old EV charger with you. So, here are nine factors to consider before making the final decision. Let's get into them. You may think bringing your EV charger with you would be cheaper than installing a brand new charging point at your new property, but the cost of removing and reinstalling your electric vehicle charger at your new place could be roughly the same or even higher than buying a new unit and installing it in your new home. With this in mind, Deciding where you want the charger in your new home is essential. You might need extra cabling at a new property, especially if the distance from your meter box to your chosen EV charge location is greater than at your old place. Keep in mind that any extra work will likely come with added cost. The Electric Vehicle Home Charge Scheme, which provided a £350 grant to single unit property homeowners, ended in March 2022. It's now been replaced by the EV Charge Point Grant, which focuses on flat owners and renters, rather than single unit homeowners. As such, you cannot save £350 on installation costs at your new property unless it is a flat or you are renting. But if you are eligible for the EV Charge Point Grant, it could be worth leaving your old EV charger and taking advantage of this new government funding by getting a new unit installed. You can claim the grant if you meet the eligibility criteria haven't claimed any EV charger grant before and wait until you've completely moved into your new property before applying. If you do not qualify for the EV charge point grant, you could save £350 by utilising the workplace charging scheme. If your business's address is registered at your new home and is on your incorporation or VAT certificate, you can apply for a £350 grant to install a charger at the new location. A key factor in deciding whether to bring your EV charger to your new home is finding a qualified installer who can and will reinstall it. Before moving, it is essential to check with installers because some may be reluctant due to potential warranty issues. Removing and reinstalling your charger might affect its warranty, so reviewing the manufacturer's terms and conditions is wise before making a final decision. One thing is for sure, do not try and remove the electric vehicle charger yourself. Attempting to remove the unit could lead to significant damage. Not only that, but there's also a high risk of injury. Contact us today and we'll be more than happy to run through your installation requirements and provide you with a free quote for either option. Call us or click the first link in the description to visit our website. Typically, you do not need permission to install an electric vehicle charger on your property as a homeowner, but it depends on what type of house you are moving into. For example, if you are moving into a listed building, you would need permission to install your electric vehicle charger at that property. Also, if you are moving into a rental property, you would need permission from your landlord before installing a charger. Your distribution network operator is in charge of distributing electricity from the national grid to residential properties. But did you know that your local DNO needs to be contacted before every electric vehicle charger installed? Installation. and it's no different with reinstalling your old EV charger at your new property. The DNO would still need to be contacted. This is because different properties have varying electricity supplies and your new house may need intervention from the DNO before your charger can be installed. Problems may arise such as the property having a shared electricity supply with your neighbours, known as a loop supply, or needing an upgrade to your main fuse to handle the electrical demand of the EV charger. In such cases, extra work by the DNO may be necessary before the charger can be installed or reinstalled. You may be worrying about the cost of buying another home EV charger, but there's good news. With the new government legislation, all new build houses must have a home charger installed at the property. So if you're moving into a new build home, you might not need to buy a new charger because one is likely to be included. Also, leaving your old EV charger behind may increase the value of your previous property. Riverdale Leasing found that homes with an electric vehicle charging point sold for 13% more than the average, so you add an extra value to your old house by leaving the charger behind. While your current EV charger may work well at your existing home, it may not suit your new property. This could happen if you have a tethered charger and the charging cable isn't long enough to reach your electric car at the new property. This could be the case, especially if the off-street parking at your new property is situated further away from where you can install a wall-mounted charger. Tethered chargers have fixed cables, so you can't replace them. In such cases, buying a new charger may be your only option. Also, if your current EV charger uses Wi-Fi connectivity, 
and the Wi-Fi signal is weak at your new property where you plan to install the charger, you might want to consider getting a new charger that uses mobile data connectivity to ensure it works effectively. Investing in a new home charging point might be the best as you can cater your requirements to your new property. With the smart home electric vehicle charging regulations in place, every EV charger sold must be smart meaning it can schedule charging. While most modern smart chargers have this scheduling feature, your current EV charger might not meet these new requirements, especially if you bought it before these regulations came into effect. If that's the case, there's no problem, but you might miss out on the benefits of smart charging that could save you money, such as EV tariff integration. If you're unsure whether to reinstall your old charger or buy a new one to meet the regulations, we recommend getting a new unit for safety, compliance, and to ensure it remains up to date for the future. While this might not be the most critical factor, if the appearance of your house matters to you, it could play a significant role in your decision. Your old electric vehicle charger might not blend in well with the aesthetics of your home. It could be too large, have a mismatched colour, or you might not like the way it looks attached to the side of your new property. With this in mind, you might consider investing in a new electric vehicle charger that complements the style of your new property. In summary, you can take your EV charger with you when you move, but installing a brand new unit could be a similar price. Before you decide, carefully consider the various factors discussed in this video. If you're still uncertain about the right choice for you, get in touch. We can advise you on the best option and provide you with a free quote for both choices. Give us a call or click the first link in the description to visit our website. See you in the next video.